So I really do hope that doing all this Animal Crossing stuff so far has made at least a few of you want to go and start Animal Crossing because it's such a fun game and you can totally play it like on your phone as well as, you know, on your Switch and all that jazz. This is not sponsored. I'm just obsessed. And today we are doing a character that I am obsessed with to the nth degree. And I can't wait to tell you all about her. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things, and you are here for day 107 of 365 days of soap. Still wild, triple digits. And yeah, today we are doing another Animal Crossing soap, which is awesome. And that Animal Crossing soap is Sprinkle. Sprinkles. Pretty sure it's just Sprinkle. Yeah, you know, like Sprinkles, this. So maybe it's Sprinkles and not Sprinkle. I don't know, not the point. Sprinkle is a penguin, an adorable penguin with a white face, little green hair thingy here, wearing a sweater when you first see her, super cute. And so since she was wearing a sweater when you first see her in Animal Crossing, I decided to use Sweater Weather, which is a type from Bath and Body Works, right? But we're still continuing on with Midwest Fragrance Company, and so we're using their version of Sweater Weather. Now, this is a very interesting scent. I personally love all things Sweater Weather. It's one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works, and so I have used this scent from at least a dozen different scent companies. And this one from Midwest, it's my favorite. Like, it's so good, and it's so strong. So far, three out of three, the strength of these fragrances is just so good, you guys. Like, wow, they are potent. And I'm very excited to soap with this. So, you know, let's go to the video and see if we have any weird problems with the column and the embeds and all the things this time, you know, now. Okay, we get to do Sprinkle today, and I'm so excited. Sprinkle is an adorable little penguin. Looks like that. So super cute. We're going to do all that. That's going to happen today, for sure. And I'm super pumped because I love Sprinkle. She's super cute. And we, of course, are going to be picking from our Mad Micah's Full Monty for the colors that we're going to, you know, use for Sprinkle. And I think we're going with some mint julep, which is delightful. But we need another color for like the little swirl swirl on her head. And so, can you put it where I can see it? I can't see that. That's, that's real weird. That's fine. Cool that you just love that for us. Okay, so maybe I'm going to pick more colors out and then show it all better at some point. Because that was the, nope, nope. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Enchanted Forest. All right. And Blue Moon. And I don't actually know why I'm using the White Mica. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, White Mica does nothing in cold process. Sweater Weather from Midwest Fragrance Company. And we're going to have to talk about this one for sure because I already know what happens with this. It's all done. Like, it's all done. I know the end bar. So, yes, Micas, they don't, I don't, I am not convinced. And that's the beak. Yes. And then we're going to do the eyeballs. And I think we're even doing the cheeks. And we're going to start in, we're going to do it in a column. We're going to try again like we did for um, Filbert. 
with a squirrel and see if we can keep things, you know, together in the column this time. Because the first time it didn't work and we had to adjust on the fly, right? But white colors in micas, like using a white mica in soap, I have never been able to tell a difference. Like just use kaolin clay or just use titanium dioxide. But for funsies, we're going to do it anyway. And see, it's not really emulsified there. It's separating. And so we're going to do it anyway. We're going to do the things. Why not? It's fun. It just, you know gave me an excuse to pick some more stuff off of the color board, really. And the reason why we're going with sweater weather for the scent, while I'm putting the kaolin clay in, I can talk to you about that, is because Sprinkles, when she, or Sprinkle, when, when she shows up, she's wearing a very cozy sweater. And that's perfect because I freaking love sweater weather, which is a, a dupe of Bath and Body Works, right? And so I have purchased it from almost every company. And this one might be my favorite. I know I've said before, and I'm still fairly convinced that like the, all of these scent companies actually get their scents from like the same two or three companies and then repackage them and whatever. But I don't actually know that for a fact. I don't actually know the process behind starting a fragrance company and what that involves. Like, are you actually making your own blends? How does that work? I would be delighted if an actual fragrance company would like to be interviewed for that. We can set up a Zoom, do the thing, and we could find out some stuff that, you know, maybe soap makers have wondered about. Because it's a fascinating process. Like, if you're actually making all the things, or even some of the things, right? Because I have the clay portion in my shop, and some things we legitimately do make. Like, we pour our own clay pieces. But others, we just buy. And so I'm interested is the point. But this particular sweater weather, it's delightful. It's again, very, very potent, very potent. All of these scents have been so potent and we have to go to the tapes for this. We have to go to midwestfragranceco.com and check this out. And the scent description says it's a uh, type, it's Bath and Body Works. Fresh feel with beautiful notes of mint and that intertwine with subtle undertones of green apples and peaches on a base of musk and moss. And it's max use in soap is 7.69%. Vanillin is 0% and it can contains 0.5% ethyl vanillin. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. Okay. There are no soaping notes on the website. There are a lot of reviews for people who have used this in a candle and absolutely love and adore it, but no soaping notes. And from what I could tell in the reviews, as I'm scrolling through, there are no soapers that are actually reviewing this. So there's that. Also keep in mind, Midwest is a brand new company. And so it takes time to do the things. You know what I mean? Anyway, keep the lack of vanillin in mind throughout all of this like for sure. And you know, now it's time to go and I, I would like my batter to be thicker right now, actually, though. I'm getting big nervous that we're going to have another problem like we did with the, the filbert bar because it's very, very thin, but you know, let's, let's do a little in the pot swirl for her hair and let's go, let's go pour this thing. Okay. And onto the pour. And the idea behind this pour was sort of like, if I pour into this white PVC and then the, the main, the white part of the soap batter into the, the rest of it, the, the black PVC, I can keep the green where I want it and the white where I want it. So it just looks like her little hair on the top, you know? But I can't actually see into the mold right now to see what's going on. But what I am noticing is that it's not really, really filling up. The mold isn't really filling up the way that I expected. And then I got to look in it and I'm like, well, shit. So the green's kind of all over. And so then I, I decided that I'm going to just change my, my direction and my plan and just pour all the white on one side, which will hopefully push the green colors up to the top of the bar. Sure. 
And then I'm thinking I can also use the embeds that are going in for the eyes and all the things to help out with that too. And then pour the rest of the green like right there on the top and see if we can, you know, do the thing. This is my thinking. Sometimes when things go wrong, you, you just have to, you know, change your, change your approach. And that's fine. Just don't ever freak out. Don't ever sweat the small stuff. And in soap making, it's almost all small stuff. It's all fine. And so it's cool. It's all going to be great. And I'm just going to yep, push everything over, do my level best to make it look some kind of way. And then I'm really thinking that the embeds too are going to help push the green like where it's supposed to be if I'm kind of thoughtful in the way that I put them in. And so I'm going to put them in at the same time to displace the batter kind of evenly. Does that make sense? Totally makes sense. Yeah. And yeah, I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see how well this looks or works. But you know, regardless, even if it doesn't stay up in the same place, it's still going to be a super cute penguin. You know, like it's got a lot of balls. It's got a little beak. It's going to be adorable. And it smells of sweater weather. And I love sweater weather. It's one of my favorite things ever. And that's cute. Come on. That is adorable and weird. It's so weird. It's the weirdest thing. I I posted this on my Insta like a bajillion years ago because, you know, that's how long ago I made these soaps. Um, and I was like, this is the weirdest soap series that I've ever done. And yeah, that's this is why. Like, look at all this weirdness going on. It's super weird and also super cute. Let's go check out this cut and see what these interior bars, you know, look like inside sprinkle. Okay, and on to the cut and we have some weirdness going on with this, don't we? There's some weirdness. That's, there's some obvious weird discoloration going on because I didn't put a red or a brown into this guys it was white and some greens so this browning is discoloration from the fragrance oil which you know sucks but there are a lot of reasons why a soap will discolor a fragrance will discolor a soap and it doesn't all have to do with vanillin a lot of the time it does but not always and yeah, you can see the inside of it, it's white and it's actually cute. Even with that little green dot over the, that's adorable. Weirdly, the soap dough cheekies that I made, they moved. Also make that make sense. I, I am very confused with that whole thing. It, it's, it's just like the last one, isn't it? It made no sense whatsoever how Coco's eyes and mouth ended up wandering kind of midway through the bar. I don't get it. And so this would be like the top of the bar. And the assumption is we saw where they were. We saw where the cheeks were and the cheeks were where they were supposed to be. Right? They were all where and they're not. Okay. That's it's fun for me. It's still cute. It's still a penguin. Still smells of sweater weather for sure. It's just, that's just weird and wild. And interestingly, have a heat pocket going on through the middle of that one. Now, I did not see popper gel this. And also, you see the part that was most exposed that I'm using to fill in there. It was exposed to air. And the inside of the bar obviously was not exposed to air. So it's still white. But since I made these so long ago, guys... I already know, and you'll see when I put them on the website and everything, the entire thing discolored like crazy. Like, it all went very dark. So my penguins are now very dark, which is fine. I mean, that's completely fine. I bet there are, I you know, in Animal Crossing, I bet there are, there is a penguin that is darker. I bet there are, mo there we go. There we go, boomer. It's now Boomer. So this this soap 
just became Boomer. It's no longer Sprinkle. It's Boomer because it does discolor a whole lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. And so, yeah, now it's Boomer because it does discolor. And, you know, that's unfortunate that I didn't know that. But also, that's okay too. And now I do know that. And so I would never not use this scent because it's an amazing scent. It's so strong. It's so delightful. But the discoloration is pretty good. It's it's pretty good. For sure. I cannot make it make sense in my mind as to why all of those embeds wandered. But it's still fun and cute and weird and awesome. And it's still Animal Crossing. And I enjoy that. And I had fun making it. And that's the biggest, you know, that's the biggest thing when you're making soap. If you're not having fun, then you shouldn't be doing it anymore. And I had fun making this. And I was actually not at all, you know, displeased with any of this, especially since the soap and clay kidlets came over and they're like, mom, that's the penguin. It's so cute. You did such a good job. And so, you know, validated. It's awesome. Smells great. Does discolor. Wait till you see it on the website, guys. It got real dark. So this was supposed to be sprinkle. It was supposed to be sprinkle for day 107. And that's kind of what it looks like now. But we're going to go with ultimately ended up being Boomer when it was all said and done. But hey, that works too. Because that's a whole ass character in Animal Crossing as well. Smells of sweater weather. Boomer also wears like a Boomer jacket. So that's a fall. It makes sense. Bomber jacket. That's day 107. It's still Animal Crossing fun. It's still amazing. And I love it all. Yeah, so no vanillin content in that. But it definitely discolored like a mother. And since there were no soaping notes on the website, there was no way for me to know that. And that, you know, is unfortunate for this particular bar, but it's not something that I would refuse to use in the future. I would just keep that discoloration in mind for sure because the throw after saponification is still very strong. And this is a delightful sweater weather blend for sure. So it's great. And you know what? There's already a penguin. There's also a penguin that's brown. And so this one just gets renamed. And it still becomes an awesome, adorable Animal Crossing soap. So there's that. Yes. Now, as you know, the drill, if you're interested in the Animal Crossing soaps, you can't have them yet. They're not ready. We're going to release all of them. And I made a whole bunch of them. So you have a while. But there is some stuff on the website right now. So go check those out. That would be excellent. Yeah. Uh, if you're interested in seeing what we do for the rest of the theme for the, every day, it's daily content. You know the drill. Click the bell. Click the button the subscribe button, all those things. For the people who have done that, hey, you guys are my heroes and thank you very much. I appreciate you guys so much each and every day. It's true today, it was true yesterday, it will most likely be true tomorrow and uh, I'm out of here for today and we can find out whether it's true tomorrow, you know, then, wherein you come and join me for another round of Soapy Fun. Bye.